welcome back for an episode with the Shed King. I um, got my clutch this week. So the story with the clutch was I actually spoke to the dealer. Um, what happened is because my throw out was just touching. I meant to have 2 mil of backspace and 12 mil of throw. Um, I had zero backspace, so it was like touching. So as the clutch heated up, it expanded, putting pressure on the slave cylinder. Therefore, one clutch was trying to spin harder than the other because the other one was like free spinning. Um, as weird as that sounds, so one of them was got destroyed, the other one um, wasn't so bad. Um, anyway, long story short, um, we hooked up with a new clutch, thanks to the guys at Mantic, um, or Clutch Industries Australia, whatever you want to call it. I'll put a link down in the description below um, for the clutches, if you want to get one. Um, and I also went to Revolution Race Gear this week and picked up some seat, well one seat. Um, because um, I'm planning on building a time attack car, as you some of you would know. Um, so there's going to be a lot of work to be done yet. Um, going to have to upgrade the brake pads, um, put the control tyres on once I burn these ones down, which won't take that long, um, and do a whole heap of testing. Uh, new ECU is going to be on the card soon as well. Um, yeah, if anyone's got anyone that know. Um, anyone that can help me get to the well, time attack and anyone can sponsor me, um, please get in touch, um, either on Instagram or just comment below and I'll work out a way to get in contact with you. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's roll the video and let's check it all out. shop is absolutely filled with all your race car needs. Everything from steering wheels, gloves, helmets, every accessory you pretty much want. Booties. Tire checking equipment. Different visors. More gloves. Heat shields and wraps. More heat shields and over now. It's like a poly tank or something. More clips. All different helmets again. Accessories. This just doesn't end. But this is the reason why we're here. We came here to check out the seats. So, I've already sat in all these. And I'm just going to go through with you what exactly I'm after. So basically there's a million different types of seats. This is my favourite one. Um, doesn't have the head restraints, which is mint, because you can actually see what's beside you. Uh, anyone who's ever sat in one of these seats knows, yeah, they're great if you have an accident, but you're also wearing a harness device which supports your neck. So one of these seats would be just as good. Um, this sits, fits really well because my shoulders actually are held in by these two points and my legs are actually held in um, down the bottom. You can see there's quite a bit of a high side there. But, um, yeah, so these are the Hans device as well, which is what supports your neck. Um, he has a, a range of suits. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get that one. I'm undecided between the black one and the black and white one. Anyway, you can let me know what you think. There's another thing worth mentioning here is the the harnesses he has and the window restraints. So I've also got one of them for my car um, because I want to keep the window down because it just gets ridiculously hot in there. Um, he has stock of everything, so really, really good. And there's even the foam protectors. For your roll cage and stuff. Um, he has a massive range of helmets as well. It's worth mentioning. Pretty sure that, that yeah, that bad boy's worth like five grand. So that's what the um 
the top guys. It's all carbon fiber. The top top racers in the world use those helmets. Super lightweight, venting, Hans device approved, all the kit. Really good gear. The saving four. This is the flywheel bolts. Um, machined flywheel. Thanks to Timmy at Gatler Headworks. There. Thanks, Bud. Um, the new clutch kit, you've seen that before, and this is the seat. Now, um, the main important thing of looking when you're looking at seats um, is this little label here on the side. Um, probably can't read it. That's a competition seat. Um, I don't exactly know what the model is. I'll probably say it on there. Whatever that is. So it's an FIA standard, which is what I need to run in World Time Attack. Um, comes with these fancy ass little mounts over here which are also stamped and FIA approved um, with heaps of adjustment um, also bought myself the window net because I'd like to have the window down so there's the window net and also bought a six point harness I'm ordering the stuff for this week to um, make myself a cage so I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to put two seats in. They weigh, they weigh bugger all. They're so light and they're so comfy. Um, it really locks me in and that's why I wanted it. Anyway, I'll chuck it in the car and we'll just have a little gee. Uh, so I put the seat in just so you can have a look. It's actually just resting on a bottle of Coke. Um, it's, as you can see here, the shoulders actually really wrap around. And the bottom of the seat like, really locks you in there. Uh, it's a really snug fit. I'm actually super stoked with it. Um, cage is going to go around here, and then that's uh, so a six point. So I'll end up going from the roof back down, and I have bars going back down to the bottom. So there'll be one, two, three points on each side, six point cage. Um, with a few other extra bars and stuff in there, there'll be a bar across the bottom of the door for the um, the side rails, things like that. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's a wrap guys, um, hopefully get some work done the next couple of weeks, I've, I've got um, a lot of work stuff coming up, family stuff coming up, um, it's also coming into December, so um, I think it's next week, so it's, it starts getting really really hot out here, um, which really slows me down a little bit, um, but my most productive weeks are in the winter, anyway, um, yeah, let's see how this goes. We get the cage material. Project shotgun is still ticking along. I've um, been doing bits and pieces here and there. Um, I've finished the wishbone. I've um, just got to get that video together and put it up for you guys. Um, yeah, that's really it. I hope everyone's doing really well. Um, thank you for everyone who keeps subscribing. Um, it's amazing. Um, keep up the good work. If you've got any questions, hit in that comment section. Um, if you want to say anything nice, put it in the comment section. Um, and that's it. Hit that like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I'll talk to you all soon.